Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Well, not so bad as I'm walking out the door, but then I show up here and suddenly, well, Adam said we had some possibilities and the possibilities are becoming reality. Adam? Well, Scott, we have a lot of stuff going on right now. A severe thunderstorm watch in place. We have some warnings and I want to point this out to you here on radar. You'll notice that this big line of storms as it comes into Lake Charles, it looks like it's weakening, but we're really not seeing this line weaken. What's actually happening is it's raining so hard in Lake Charles right now that it's messing with the radar and the radar beam can't get through all the rain and it makes it look like these storms are weakening. But trust me, they're still pretty strong and we could see them even get stronger here with the threat for severe weather. Definitely not out of uh, the woods from that yet. We have a severe thunderstorm watch until nine o'clock this morning that covers much of Acadian, in fact, all of it. And so we're going to be monitoring these storms for them to get stronger here within the next few minutes. We have a severe thunderstorm warning in place for Jeff Davis Parish, as well as a flash flood warning. The rest of the area so far is pretty quiet, but with that heavy rain, we're looking at rainfall rates two to four inches per hour. That is going to cause that flood threat to be seen, in fact, across the area. So we're going to have to keep a very close watch on that. Strongest of these storms right now is mentioned in Jeff Davis Parish, and they're going to work their way on off to the east here, slowly sliding their way down to the south and east. Generally looking at uh, Jennings around 520 for the worst of it. So coming up here very shortly, Mermintal around 534, Crawley 546, and then in rain around 550, Scott around 610. Now we have this line and you can see how it gets more amplified or intensified here when I switch over out of the Fort Johnson radar. That very, very heavy rain, lots of lightning and thunder and again, slow moving storms. This part of it reaches Opelousas around 533, 536 for you in Church Point, 552 in Sunset and 606 in Karen Crow. So Futurecast already a little behind on things because this is showing at 6 a.m. and it has a line just getting into the area. We know that's not the case, but the general idea is that this line will come through before 9 o'clock this morning. And we will see lingering rain here through midday, but it gets lighter. So I really do think that severe threat, heavy rain threat will be through about nine o'clock and then things start to settle on down. We will see a lot of clouds this afternoon and we may stay rain cooled all day long. We'll just have to see how that works out for us. But the severe threat today, a level one, doesn't mean that we will see extremely widespread severe weather, but based on what's happened back to our west, it's very possible that we'll be watching for that here. Tornadoes, lower threat, but still not zero. Hail, we've seen a few reports of that, but it's unlikely. High winds and then flooding will be the biggest concern for us. So there you can see that big line extending down our way. Behind it, we do have some quieter conditions and our Hub City Tower camera showing that we have those cloudier skies, a temperature of 75 right now. And looking ahead, I am going to be looking at those temperatures here, kind of bouncing up and down with the showers and storms. By this evening, though, we may try and reach into the mid and upper 70s possibly around 80 degrees. We'll just have to see how that goes. If we can get a little bit in the way of some clearing developing more storms to track on your Tuesday and Wednesday, though we're not expecting those to be severe. We'll get a break Thursday before more storms return for your Friday and then to the weekend things start to dry out. So uh, certainly a rough weather day out there, yeah. especially for everyone that's about to go commuting. But if you can just hang on a little while longer, it should improve for this afternoon. But still that severe threat, flood threat, much of a concern starting to ramp up in the next hour or so. Well, you said it was it was a strong possibility. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll continue to watch it. Thanks, Adam. We will. All right. We're